Hi, I'm Harvey. Welcome to Why Not DIY. For today's video, we will be making a queen-size tufted headboard. So first of all, you will need a plan. So here's a list of questions for you to ask yourself. Number 1. What size? We need to determine if single, double, queen, or king size yung kama para makuha natin yung tamang width. Number 2. How high? How high would you want your headboard be? The standard is 2 to 4 feet but really depends on you. Wag lang syempre sa sobra sa haba ng kama. And lastly, number 3. What color? This depends on the color palette of your room. Remember, the darker the color, the more na magiging focal point to. The lighter, the more it blends to your room. And now that we've answered all the questions, let's go grab the list of materials. For this project, you will need half-inch plywood, foam, quilt batting, leather fabric, scissors, cutter, tape measure, marker, straight edge, tucker gun, tucker staples, buttons, and of course, our screws and washer. Layer plywood to the foam para masabilis natin makat ito. Sundan mo lang yung outline then cut it. Then stack your foam on top of each other para match even thickness. Next is we will need to make measurements para naman sa placement ng mga buttons. Then markahan natin ito. So here's the measurement for this build. Para hindi tayo malito, let's put an X on each point where the buttons will go. Then we will cut square holes on each point. Ang purpose ito is to make the buttons go deeper, giving us the more tufted look. Now let's lay the quilt batting. This is to smooth everything out. And para hindi masira ng wood yung fabric or leather natin. Now staple on one side before going to the other. This will ensure the battings to be stretched evenly. After stapling every side, cut the excess since hindi na natin ito kailangan. Now we will poke the battings doon sa mga holes na ginawa natin kanina. After that, ilagay na natin yung leather or fabric sa ibabaw. Tutok lang natin yung screws and washers doon sa mga holes na ginawa natin kanina. Then, pag naramdaman mo na yung wood, pwede mo na itong screwin. By the way, I do recommend to start in the middle para mas malinis yung pag-stretch ng fabric or leather. the outer top, make a small fold before securing it at the back.
here's a quick tip on folding the corners. Start with folding it diagonally before securing the sides. Make sure to staple every sides before cutting the excess leather or fabric. Now for the final part, covering the buttons. Now let's cut a fabric bigger than the button. Then fold and make your way to the end of the circle. After that, cover it with the other pair of the button material. Now since my foam is deep enough to hold the buttons, I just push it to the holes. But you can use glue gun just to make sure it won't fall off. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring the notification bell for more Why Not DIY.